welcome back to my channel. Today I've got my friend Arlena with me. Hello. With her beautiful hair. Thank you. Like, I use it myself. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get anyone else to wear it <laughs> no. for you. I suppose people with extensions, they get other people yeah, to wear exactly. it for them if it's real hair. Like people like me. Yeah, then cut it. Can I have some Maybe yours? not people like me, maybe people in poor Can countries that are desperate for money and have no choice than to cut their hair off. Anyway, well, I've made this morbid. Anyway, today we're talking about no poo. It sounds utterly ridiculous. I remember seeing it. Did I see it online or did you tell me about it? You must have told me about it first. No, no, no. I remember telling you that I do no poo and you were like, oh, I want to do that. Yeah. But you must have heard something. Oh, so I actually... No, I remember you saying, I didn't know I knew anyone who did that. I can't believe I, I figured that. Yeah, I knew before you, I actually knew you did it. That's yeah. so random. I didn't realise that. Have. So where did you hear about it first? Um... Oh, right. Was it years and years ago? Yeah, it is. Because how many years have you been yeah. doing it now? Since 2012. Seven years. Whoa, year. do you know what's funny? Yeah. Is I, because I remember when you told me about it, and I think it, you've been doing it for like three years, so I still have in my head that you've been doing it for like three years. Yes. <laughs> but now it's and like it's ongoing. so much more, yeah. Yeah, no, it's been like 2012 <clears throat> is when I started it. And I think I read an article online and it was explaining how the hair care industry, um, I was having, I wanted my hair yeah. to be a bit thicker and a bit more luscious. Yeah. And there was an article which was explaining how the um, <clears throat> the hair care industry is just producing these products that make your hair thin and dry or greasy in order for you to buy more of their products. And then you know that actually your hair can look after itself, it is natural, yeah. it does have the ability to know what it's doing and that just use natural products and your hair will be its own natural. Because that's the thing that the the hair stuff that you buy from the shops, it'll say makes your hair thicker, but it doesn't technically make your hair thicker. It'll well, it will say it like makes your hair look shiny, <laughs> yeah. makes your hair look healthy. Mm. Yeah, it will look it, but it's not actually, Yeah. you know, it's not actually doing them things. But, you know, when you have silicones, you know, the chemicals that you use in shampoos and conditioners, them silicones will stay on your hair for years and years and years. Mm. So a shampoo that you used two, three years ago, That's you nice. still have remnants of that shampoo stuck to your hair with the silicones. And then when you think about, it will just do a coating around mm. your hair to make your hair look shiny, but you're not really, you're just covering up rather than dealing with. Yeah. Well, it just kind of, I mean, shows my hair. I have dyed it so many times and washed it a million times. And I'm one of these people who used to wash it like every single day. Mm. I'm trying to like <laughs> slowly do it less and less, but I still kind of do it every other day to make it look good. Make it look good, make it look like this. Um, this it is, looks good. This is so second day hair, so I washed it yesterday. Okay. But um, yeah, this is overly processed hair. And this is hair that hasn't... I've never dyed my hair. Yeah. I never dyed my hair. Did I used you even to... dye it when you were a teenager? No. That is my. I wanted to. I remember wanting yeah. to get, you know, pink at the end of my hair. Um, but no, I never. Because then I always thought, no, but I want my hair to be, like, the nicest it can possibly be. I want I want my hair to be nice. And if you just put them chemicals in it, yeah. I feel like I'm just going to destroy something. It's amazing that you never you know? dyed it even when you were a teenager, even before no. all this. Yeah, came I about. never had them crazy moments of, <laughs> I don't know, know, putting my hair, like, blonde and my hair when it coming out green. Yeah. Like that, like that. <laughs> I haven't done that either actually. <laughs> I usually just go to the hair. I don't think I've ever really, I've never risked dyeing my hair blonde at home. It just shows how beautiful your hair can look without without any make makeup. Without any makeup. <laughs> well, without any hair products. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so I don't really know where to start with explaining what So what do I the, use? The point is no no poo means no shampoo by the way. <laughs> just but does it? Clear that what do you mean? No you can't you, shampoo, it's just not shampoo that Oh yeah so eventually use. So so technically you use shampoo but you use your own what do you mean? <laughs> I'm shall, we, shall we talk through this? <laughs> yeah what might make more sense. Yeah, where do we start? So when you go into the no poo method um, the first thing you have to do is detox your hair of yeah. all of the chemicals that's been building up. So the silicones, the sulfates, all of the chemical, artificial crap that's in shampoo, conditioner, hairspray, wax, serum, whatever you use in your hair, mousse, it's all got chemicals in it mm -hmm. and it builds up in your hair. And in order to get to your natural hair, you need to get rid of it okay. all. So how you detox your hair is by using... Some products. 
bicarbonated soda. It's so weird when you said put that in my hair. It was really weird. The first time I went shopping for this, so I was like, you know, going shopping for hair care. Yeah, in yeah. the baking aisle. Pop down the baking Just aisle. Go. Um, so bicarbonated soda, what it does is it's, it can strip your hair of all the chemicals. It's a really good cleaning agent. And so naturally it will just strip your hair of all of the chemicals yeah. that's built up in your hair, but it doesn't, it's natural and it, it's, it's gentle so it doesn't get rid of yeah. the natural oils. Because the whole point in sulfates, which are in the shampoos, primarily, yeah, yeah. they're not in conditioner sulfates, are they? The sulfates are normally in shampoos. Yeah, so they're to strip your natural oils, yeah. and well, they don't say they're to strip your natural oils, they say they're just to clean your hair, but they actually strip your natural oils, well, and like full on. Yeah, well what happens is when you strip your natural oils, is then your scalp and hair produce more natural oils mm. to replace what's been lost, and by doing that, your hair will get greasy very fast. So you'll wash your hair, cycle, yeah. and then the next day you'll have great greasy hair. And it's because you've washed all of the natural oils out, and then your hair will produce everything that's been lost. Yeah, so the more you wash um, hair, that's why... You, yeah, the more, the more you, you wash your hair, wash the more you more. need to wash it more. So once you start washing it every single day, you can't stop because you're just like, my hair's greasy. It's <laughs> that vicious cycle, yeah. and the detox gets you out of that cycle. Mm. You need your natural oils in your hair, you should not be washing them out. That's what makes your sorry, hair... Sorry, Arlena. Sorry, mm. sorry. <laughs> so by carbonated soda, and what I do is I use about, it depends on how much hair you have mm. and your type of hair, so everyone's going to be different. So she uses a bottle, <laughs> I use a, a tub. tub. <laughs> no, personally I would use one tablespoon, Okay. but if you don't have much hair or you have thin hair, I then maybe half um, or three quarters. I mix that in with um, a jug of water, yeah. so we're in my bathroom, it's like a kitchen in my bathroom, <laughs> I, I have like jugs and spoons. Um, in my bathroom, I just have a jug. Um, I'll put a tablespoon of this in, and then I'll put some water in, probably fill it up halfway, yeah. mix it up, um, and then I'll put it in my hair. So I'll put like maybe in the roots, so I'll give it a yeah. squirt, and then down in the middle, give it a squirt, and then through, and work it through my hair. Um, it's odd because normally when you're washing your hair, you expect it to lather mm. up and it to be like really soapy. That doesn't happen, you're just rubbing. It's like grittiness as well. Cause yeah. Because I've, I've, I've tried this method, obviously, when I spoke to Alina and you told me about it, I was like, I want to do it. So I tried it. Um, I've attempted it like three times, haven't I? And failed every single time. It's, <laughs> it's getting just, out of that detox period. It's because the whole detox thing, it take, your hair looks worse for quite some yeah, time. It will. And depends how much build up you have in it for how long that phase will last. How long did your phase last? Four to five weeks. See, that's not bad because I've read online some people like saying months. Like yeah, months no, months. it can. Yeah. It, I guess it depends on what products you're yeah. using yeah. as well. And but how what happens, you go into yeah, it as well. What happens is when you are using bicarbonate, you're mm. getting rid of all the um, chemicals, they're going to come out of your hair. So after you've washed your hair, you will find that your hair is feeling greasy, but it's not grease, it's sticky. And yeah. that's the chemicals coming out. That's what you want. You get like a sticky, yeah, I found like it It's not grease. It's it more thicker and yeah. gloopy. But that's just the chemicals coming out of your hair. I just and you have it. to go. You have to go through the darkness to see the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> there always... is light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> yeah, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> so you got bicarb. One a half tablespoon to a full tablespoon mixed with some water. Some people like to use it like a paste. So you like a little bit of water. Yeah. Use it like a paste. I think it feels like you're doing something yeah. more than pouring water on your head. Um, top tip: don't lick your lips when you're in the shower because it's really salty and it tastes awful. Yeah. I then use a lovely product. I use apple cider vinegar. It's very random again. It's a kitchen thing. It's something that you cook apple with. Apple cider vinegar. Drink. What do you? Do you want to drink it? Somebody told me that if you have a tablespoon of that a day, it's really good for you. I have wouldn't you want to put this in my mouth. Have you smelt it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so strong smelling. But honestly, people do it. And somebody I know said oh. they did it and it, they liked smell it. it. Yeah. Smells like bath time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, is it hair washed down? Um, no, it does not smell nice. Mm. Um, it's really strong, vinegary smell. It's apple cider vinegar. Get it organic, raw, unfiltered, um, with the mother if you can. With the mother? With the mother. Those little make. Oh, no, no the way the mother is. Who's the mother? It's just like the bacteria that's been left in it. Just not, 
the most natural, like the pure natural, the natural, the pure yeah. natural <laughs> okay. organic way that you can have it. I got this in Esther. You can buy it in Holland and Barrett or just off the internet. Yeah, on eBay. I think I bought one off the internet. Yeah, eBay. I can't remember what my mine was. It does smell. Um, and you'll think that your hair smells like that. You will, but it won't. won't. Don't worry. Just if you, I don't know, a shower, shower with someone, don't want to wash your hair with this, can you? <laughs> In the shower at the same time? Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, whoa, this smell. No. All you do is you put, um, depending again on how much hair you yeah. have, apple cider vinegar is like the conditioner. It will really make your hair healthy and shiny and strong. And it, it basically replaces, you know, after the bicarb of it, cleaning everything out, it will just make it yeah. softer and shiny, nice and, shiny yeah. and, and clean it up. Um, so treat it like your conditioner. If your hair's really dry, use a bit more apple cider vinegar. So the more you use. If your hair's prone to get really oily and really like, then maybe use a bit less. I use probably about four, maybe five mm -hmm. tablespoons. Okay. And then I will fill the jug up again half dry. Um, normally, a little a little tip, what some people do is just pour the jug over the hair, but I feel like it concentrates at the top yeah. and not at the bottom. And I feel like apple cider vinegar, you need to concentrate okay. at the bottom of your hair. So what I do is I'll put it in the jug and I'll have my mixture of this yeah. in the jug and then I'll get my hair and I'll like dip it in. Okay. And I'll hold it for a little bit to make sure that the end should soak it up and then, yeah. and then I'll do it through my hair. I remember pouring it over my head when I made this mixture but I didn't do it with warm water when <laughs> I was, I was, it, I was, it, I was just like, oh my god! <laughs> Drips down yeah. your face, and you've got vinegar dripping down your face. That's Disgusting. not what you want. <laughs> so I, I put it in a jug, dip your hair in yeah. from the bottom, let it, and then through your hair, let it soak. Do you put warm water in it then? Yeah. Yeah. I just I make just it when I'm in the shower. Yeah, okay. You know, it's like a kitchen. I just get my jug. I'll be in the shower, and I'll pour my vinegar in. And I'll pull it under the Scales shower. And I'll mix it. Yeah. <laughs> so when you first started doing this, because obviously you've you've used a mixture of products and changed things, and yeah. we'll talk about some more products mm. in a minute. But when you first started using it, what was it? What was the first thing you did? You say you had to like cleanse your. Did you do like? Was, did you just go from using normal products to the next day? You just woke up and you yeah. used that. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. did. Um, I think I was just, I've always had thick hair anyway, mm. but every time I went to the hairdressers, to come out of the hairdressers hating my hair, then mm. it'll feel thin, it would feel like not natural. Mm. And I've always had thick hair and I've seen girls around and people and around the celebrities and they've had like amazing luscious mm. thick hair and I feel like I had that capability to do that. I just was in a hair care routine mm. that was my, making my hair heavy, yeah. making it dull, making it flat. So I just went straight into it. Yeah. I really did. I did my research mm. and I looked into it. And the next day I just bought the bicarbonated soda, ordered the apple cider vinegar and then just got stuck in. That's mad. Did it, do you, I know it was a long time ago now I suppose, do you remember it feeling like really odd straight away and just being like, oh my god my hair's not clean, I, I don't look good. Yeah, so what normally you... normally when you first do it and you come out of the shower, for the first day or two you probably think, oh wow my hair feels really bouncy, it feels yeah. great, but then when you come to, so the idea is, you use this method. The first week, you wash your hair as you normally would, the amount of times that you normally wash mm -hmm. your hair, so maybe, you know, every second day. The next week, add a day, so every third day. The next week, every fourth day. Yeah. And then every fifth day. And try and go as long as you can without washing your hair. So normally, now I would go about five days without washing my hair. Yeah. Um, but the idea is, is to keep prolonging your hair mm -hmm. being washed. Um, I suppose the longer you can drag that, the more you can get to the stage where you're not washing your hair as often, the quicker the transition will be well, anyway. Exactly, just and the less that your hair will be greasy. Yeah. So, you know, if your hair used to get greasy after just one day, then after you've pushed it off and you're on to the fifth week and mm. you've gone five days without washing your hair, then your hair is going to get greasy on the fifth day, not on the first. Yeah. And, and that, don't we all want that? Yes, please. So when did you last wash your hair? I, I washed it last night. Yeah, I just ready for the video. <laughs> I felt like maybe I shouldn't to prove a point, but the... I'm not going to have time today. 
In the stage where you were in the transition phase, was there any time when you were like, oh no, I've got somebody's wedding to go to, I've got a birthday oh, thing, God. I've got, I want to look my best and my hair Even, looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and obviously, you know, when you are detoxing, you should not be using, you know, I don't use hairspray yeah. or anything anymore. Did you use any curlers or straighteners or anything no. like that during that You know what, I think I did a yeah. couple of times just because you don't know what else to do, you haven't learnt what else to do yet. Um, so yeah, I think I did on um, probably a couple of occasions. But yeah, no, if you are going to go through the no poo do, make sure you do the detox when you don't really have anything coming up. That's what I found really difficult. In the winter every time when tried. you can just put a hat on. But there's always something, there's Christmas time. Well, there's you maybe have on. a more exciting life than I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's always an event to go to. But even just work, it's like I'm working like an office based thing and stuff. Yeah. And I just like, we're well, all not presentable and it's like difficult because you're like, oh, stick a head scarf or something. I'm just like, I don't feel like I can do that in my job. I'm just like, no, I can't. Um, it's just difficult. How long was your hair when you started? Oh, my hair was only shoulder length. Yeah. It was, it was quite, quite short. short. It was yeah, shoulder length. When I first started it. Um, obviously this isn't sort of on the menu. We'll see if we can find some pictures of you by the way. Oh yeah, we Of will. your hair and I'll put them up, like before show. and after, yeah. <laughs> how your hair's gone, how it was before and how it is now. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a really good idea. <clears throat> after doing yes. the detox, you do the t detox five, six weeks, until you can go probably about five or six days without washing your hair and you don't have the stick in there, so that's when you know you're done. Were you drying it, were you blow drying it by the way, or were you letting um, it actually? My hair's really thick anyway, yeah. and I feel that if I don't, it will never dry. Okay, so you so can dry. do that. So I blow dry it and then until the point where it's damp yeah. and then I'll just leave okay. it to dry after it being damp. I don't want to damage my hair yeah. with heat after putting so much effort yeah. into it. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, sorry, um, caveat. I would not recommend to keep doing the bicarb and apple cider vinegar after the detox. I read this online that it can actually like cause a bit of damage if you Use bicarb, it too if you use bicarb bi too can much, it can, it can, because yeah, if, you're not, <laughs> if you're not getting rid of them chemicals, yeah. what, what's it doing in your hair, once some chemicals have gone, ah, okay, so people maybe jump out what's it doing, long. so yeah. as soon as you go through the detox, I'll ditch the bicarb, keep the apple cider vinegar, that mm. stuff is amazing, um, bicarb now I might use once a month, okay. maybe once every two months, okay, what I would then go on to, would be shampoo bars. Oh, I'm scared. I didn't even know they existed until you started telling me about them. Can you smell that one? Is this the same one? This is the one that I gave you. I've got, yes. Sounds familiar. Smells. Sounds familiar? Smells familiar. <laughs> Sounds familiar too. <laughs> no, um, shampoo bars. They are just a, it's like a soap, bar soap, but it's full of um, natural ingredients. It's really good for your hair. This one in particular, so I normally buy them funkysoap.com yes. funkysoap.com I'll put the link in the description the There's a lot of um, online shops where you can buy shampoo bars mm. Do you look at the ingredients? Mm. Um, I know that Lush do yes. nice shampoo bars yeah. A lot of them do have silicones in them Okay, wow. So and you... sulfates So even if you see a shampoo bar it doesn't mean that it's completely yeah. natural So like, but if you wanted to swap to a shampoo bar and we're a little bit scared about this whole no poo thing. Yeah, the detox. You might want to swap, you know, because it's plastic free and all that kind of thing, so you may want to swap to this anyway. Yeah. But may maybe a lush one that has silicones in it and sulfates in well, it yeah, would I mean, be good for you to swap to anyway. Definitely. Yeah, if you didn't want to go no poo and just wanted to kind of, yeah. <laughs> I'd always bit. recommend shampoo bars. I think they're brilliant. Like to say, there's no plastic, yeah. there's no waste, it's really good for the environment. Mm. Um, the natural products that are used, most of them are vegan. Yeah. Um, if you know you're interested in that, <laughs> um, but shampoo bottles are really the way forward. Uh, I love them, and they will last ages. Mm. This will last ages. I'm good for traveling and stuff. As they well, are brilliant yeah. because you don't have the liquid allowance. You know, you just and you can break them up even. You know, if you wanted to go on holiday, oh yeah, you just you cut a chunk off and a little bit. Do you go. use? Sorry, I might be jumping ahead. Do you use that as a replacement for the bicarb, and then still use the apple cider vinegar? Sometimes, yeah. Is this always oh, this like a two enough to be like? You know two what? In one? I, I use quite a few things. Yeah. That <laughs> when you just Cheers, you just so work nice. out what works best for your hair. So I love shampoo bars. I will use that as shampoo, obviously. Um, funky soap is a really good one. Lush, but if you are doing the no poo, do look at the ingredients. Um, look online; they're really good. Um, again, it's 
you find it, you know, quite a while to get used to. Yeah. You're washing your hair with a, a bar, but to be fair, they do lather up quite they well. Do, yeah, they I do. found that. It did give you quite a bit of a lather. It's still, like I've used, because you got me one for my birthday. Yeah. And because I'm not, yeah, full on into the transitional thing at all at the moment, um, I'm a little bit, but I'll talk about that in a minute, but like not hardcore, so I've used it, but it, it still, it, it gave my hair that nice shiny feeling. But it did feel like I had that build up. I felt it straight mm. away that I had my hair hadn't been washed properly. Like it was getting rid of, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. So but I might. I'm gonna try and integrate that, but not yeah. wash it all the time with that because I clearly, with my attempts of this thing, I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't. Um, so I'm gonna ease myself in a different so, way. So yeah, what I do for. It's hard to explain, it's yeah. not like I use this for shampoo and this for conditioner. Yeah. So a lot of the time when I need to do a good conditioner, condition my hair, I use coconut oil. Okay. Get a big That's jar of coconut job. oil. I've got a jar that's like half the size that I thought was big. Um, <laughs> I love coconut oil. Brilliant for conditioning your hair. What a lot of people do is they pull it on after they've washed their hair. Okay. It's like, no, 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 no. That will make your hair greasy. <laughs> What I do is pull it on before. Yes. So half an hour or 15 minutes before you get into the shower. Um, put some, work it into your scalp. It's really good for dry yes. scalp and dandruff yeah. if that's an issue. Um, if not, work, work it in throughout the scalp. Put as much as you want on, go for it, I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I find that so mad because I've, I've used this um, when I found out about using coconut oil in your hair with with normal sulfate and silicone shampoo. I've used it as like a free shampoo treatment. Yeah. Like you can leave it overnight, or you can um, put it on for just ten minutes before. I've actually I actually mixed it in with my shampoo once as well. Oh really? Yeah, I just yeah. found that like an interesting kind of idea. Mix it in with your normal That's shampoo. That actually idea. that actually worked. It was weird. Um, but the thing is with this, yeah, I find it crazy that you can use this with no pee because. Even when you use a normal sulfate shampoo, if you'd put it in and you hadn't washed it enough afterwards, you'd be left with like the greasiness of it. So how on earth do you get that out with the new thing? When you have no poo, you don't have them chemicals blocking your hair. So you have silicones in your hair, like we said, it coats it to make it look shiny. Right. The coconut oil can't get through that, it can't get through the chemicals. So if you use coconut oil with using normal shampoo yeah. and conditioner, like yeah, it will probably help, but yeah. it won't really penetrate the mm, hair. Okay. It will just sit on top and make it greasy. Yeah. When you don't have them chemicals in your hair, it will penetrate it and it will do what it's and then how brilliant and then to do. What do you wash it out with? I'll wash it out with whatever I'm using at that time for a shampoo, whether it be a bar, bicarbonated oh, soda, or other stuff that I'm yeah. going to go on to in a minute. So I use this before the shower, wash it out, and then I don't use any conditioner. Yeah, because it's just enough of a deep use condition. Yeah. It, it's enough. It's and backwards, but <clears throat> if you I'm haven't backwards really kind of used, <laughs> if you haven't really used um, or bought coconut oil or seen it before, um, when it's cold, it's hard, isn't yeah. it? And then you'll find on like a hot summer's day or something when it's warm oh. in your house, it's it's liquid. Do you know what I did? I what? took it on holiday with me. Right. So I put I put like in the tub yeah in the tub to take it on holiday with me and we were in on Suwate and it was like 30 odd degrees <laughs> and it just melted just it, it just, just melted <laughs> everywhere and I undid the lid and it was just no. oh no yeah maybe so if you live in a hot country it might I, I don't know how you know annoying it must be yeah constantly, you know. so when you use it because there was different ways that when, when I've used it in the past I'll either melt it I'll put it in a bowl and then oh do yeah, you yeah I'll put it in a bowl well there's different ways isn't there there was like no, apparently do online that. I read don't put it in the microwave because it'll change the I imagine <sighs> that it could do change the chemicals in it somehow and like just make it not work as well so apparently like if you put I've it in a bowl I've never had the reason to put it in put it in a bowl and put it on the radiator before you use it and then it's then it's pure oil but obviously if you just grab a bit and like do that is that what you do That's it melts in your hands anyway so, so it's not really needed all I, I think do it's is to give it a bit of heat treatment to, to, to make it like a warm treatment do you know what I mean if yeah. you put it on the radiator it warms up as well grab a chunk that's a big chunk I'm don't put this all over my new couch <laughs> <laughs> grab a chunk um, and just run it through your fingers, just run it through your hands, and then you can literally just wipe that on your skin. Now, I am. I'm I'm gonna gonna do that's it what's crazy. Is it's amazing for oh, you just I'm watching this. <laughs> it, yeah, it makes your hands yeah. nice. Soft yeah, as well, it's really so good for conditioning treatment you know? for your body anyway. You can use it as moisturizer. 
through a knot, so you just run it through. Um, if you do, just put it into your hair. Yeah. Don't use a lot. Yeah. And don't go like, to your roots. You it will make it greasy. Yeah. I mainly use it before I shower yeah. and, and wash my hair. Beautiful. Lovely. You smell the vinegar? No, not at all. No, you can't. <laughs> when it dries. <laughs> when it dries, you can't smell the vinegar. Right there. Okay. Um, right, well, so what are we on to? Coconut oil. If you do do the no poo do, but you find that you do miss misusing shampoos, normal shampoos, which I must admit I do sometimes. It's easy, it's quick, it's convenient. Sometimes shampoo boy have to take a while to get it through. Yeah. And sometimes you don't have 10 minutes before a shower to put coconut oil in your hair. And sometimes you just want conventional yeah. shampoo. Um, in which case, I'd recommend the Body Shop. They do a range of shampoos that don't have any silicones in. A lot of them don't, the Rainforest range. Yes. In the Body Shop don't have silicones or <clears throat> Sulfates. I'd highly recommend recommend the Rainforest range mm -hmm. in the Body Shop, or just the shampoos that are made with no silicones. You've got um, your hair on all of these <laughs> Just everywhere. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go, and you'll have. It's yeah. like you've had a dog in. <laughs> um. So this one is the green tea one. They do banana. They do strawberry. You love um, banana. I mean, don't you? yeah. yeah they, okay. I mean. They are going to have chemicals in them, but they're not going to be the harsh chemicals that you find in normal conventional shops. Because it says, yeah, formulated without silicones. So does it have sulfate in this one? It does. It has. Um, mm. It does have sulfate. It has one type of sulfate. What I have is I have a list that I carry around with okay. me when I go shopping, and it has like the good sulfates Aww. and the bad sulfates. Oh, okay, so there's some good ones that are okay. There's some that's okay. There's some that doesn't really do too much damage to your hair. I find that if you use um, hair care products such as like Tresemme, Pantene, yeah. L'Oreal, like the they're, they're going to be loaded with chemical crap. Body shop, their sulfates are a lot kinder mm -hmm. on the hair, okay. to be fair. And if you get silicones, are the main enemy. Yeah. Silicones are the enemy. Sulfates are now and then. So if you want convenience. So that's mad. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised that you do use sulfates in some. I mean, this like tub, I think this tub of shampoo say, lasted me like. Bit, yeah. Must have lasted me like a good eight months. Yeah. So you don't use it I bought, oh, time, I bought it before I went to India, so yeah, work. a good, a good while. Yeah, and again, if you are going down that route of using um, shampoos without any silicones in, then I'd also recommend as well, it's the Body Shop, um, again, formulated up silicones, that's a good hair mask to use. It's banana, it smells amazing, I love it. Does it smell like bananas? That does smell it so nice. It reminds me, you know when you were like little and you had the medicine when you were younger, the banana medicine? And it reminds me of banana nasty. milkshake. Sorry it, guys, you, you know them, this. the medicine like you'd have? I remember I have like a banana medicine, it was tasted ah, horrible. How do you not know? So yeah, this is pretty much the same, yeah, formulated without some so, limbs, but it has a, maybe Yeah, more. and you know, like I say, if you do want to go away from using silicones and chemicals, but you want the convenience, yeah. then the Body Shop do a good range of shampoos where they do keep out a lot of the bad chemicals. Oh, um, and also if you want to use, um, if you find that your hair is really dry or really damaged, really yeah. brittly, I recommend castor oil. You can buy it online. Hey, why is that? Castor oil, it's like a really thick oil. It's okay. It's really good for your hair. You use it at the ends of your hair. It will really... Yeah. It works miracles. Okay. It's amazing. People say cornflower. They use cornflower uh, on their hair. Okay. I've not tried that. So it's a mixture of things. Um, go some for. people don't use anything on their hair. Just wash their hair with water. Yeah, so you can go full on. I do want to try doing just that. Water. Just yeah. At the moment, I am just using the shampoo bar and apple cider vinegar yeah. and coconut oil. I don't really use the this one. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I do now and then if yeah. I don't have any time. Um, but yeah, I do want to give that a go. Yeah, have you ever done it where you've just washed water only? No, no. So I talked about this in one of my other videos. I talked about these being one of my favourite things, and you've actually got some of these as well, I have you? used one once, um, yeah. Have you only used it once? Yeah. I mean, no, like, I've used, like... Yeah. I haven't bought more than one. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, I have the blue ones and the red ones now. So this is just, yeah, no sulphates, no silicones, it's vegan. All that kind of thing. It looks like a smoothie you can drink, doesn't it? That's it what I love about really this. Is the, the actual, um, the actual packaging. Mm, so nice and fresh. So the thing is, yeah. Obviously, I've brought Arlena here to talk about <laughs> the hardcore no poo 
method. Hardcore. That's what you are. <laughs> and but but for some people like myself who've tried this method and just really can't. I just yeah. I'm just not doing it. I can't do I, it. The detox. Reason. I mean, you do have to take about six a week out of your life to yeah. concentrate on your hair. Yeah, and I just don't. Yeah, I've tried it and I've failed. So um, obviously, if I put my mind to it and just did it, I'd be able to do it. But I just decided that I can't do it. It's too much for me. So something like swapping to those body shop ones or swapping to something like this is just like a really good idea. And I was saying in in my last video how. Um, it took me a, a while to like these because I tried them once and I just didn't mm. didn't get on with them at all. But for some reason now, loving them. I shamp I use the shampoo twice and proper like give it a good scrub. And I I love the fact it doesn't dry. It doesn't feel like it's drying your hair out like normal normal shampoo. Yeah, when I use it normal shampoo, shampoo, it literally tangles my hair. Did you ever used to get that feeling with shampoos when they proper because they really dry it's been it? Such a long yeah. Time. <laughs> Think back to those days. <laughs> it really like dried out, especially because of all the blonde I've had and mm. stuff. It dried out my scalp so much, and then like after my shower, even after using conditioner, I go to like comb my hair, and it would take ages to like try and get the knots out. Ooh. Honestly, with this, don't get knots anymore. Literally comb my hair after shower, and it's so easy to do and that's amazing for my hair because honestly it used to get knotted so easily yeah um obviously i'm trying to grow out the blonde as well i've achieved like this much <laughs> which is helping obviously the roots not get tangled because it doesn't have the kind of like it's not dry yeah i've not got that yeah. bleached hair which does tend to not but yeah i'm finding i absolutely love these um as an alternative i do want to bring back bring back the coconut oil into my life i don't know do why it. yeah because i do feel it. like now i've got a don't routine with the these <laughs> i feel like now i've got a routine with these i feel like using the coconut oil will it's just about doing you know what what's good with, with them yeah different. fortunate uh, enough college. that sorry i should have helped you and it's I fine. Watched, <laughs> you struggle. watched you struggle she's so mean um yeah just Depends what works for anyone. I mean, mm. I love own like I use as much natural products as I can anyway. Yeah. And as much like vegan lifestyle anyway. So to me, no poo and only yeah. using like the natural stuff suits me really well. But if you're not that concerned about that, yeah. And you're just looking for another alternative hair care routine and the typical supermarket. Yeah, products, I just want to try then a bit. There are, you know, definitely things you could do. I definitely recommend apple cider vinegar. To yes, and anyone. that's what, yeah, I need to try that again because even if you pour it on after using these two, it'll still give it like a nice Or just use it instead of conditioner. Use it instead of the conditioner one. I'll you know, try that actually. Just, even if you do it once or twice a month, yeah. you will see a really good. And the shampoo bar that you've you've got me. I'm gonna use yeah. that like once a week or something, just like every now and again yeah. and then like slowly and I'm trying to do like two or three days I can get away with without washing my hair but I can't really drag out for much longer than that at the moment maybe eventually it will change but I don't some people do just need to wash the hair more for a while like some people I don't know I know eventually it'll probably you'll train it you're like yes it will any hair you will train, it. Like, you will train, train it. it um another thing yeah I used to always use the Moroccan oil there's like this Moroccan yeah, oil you can yeah. get from my the argan oil yeah, like an organ, which full of just pure silicone. <laughs> Basically, it's just completely like. That's, that's another you know, thing. If you do go into, um, you have to stop if you do go into a supermarket things. or like body yeah. care or something like that, and you do pick up like, oh, it's coconut oil in it. Oh, it's organ oil, and it's like, yeah, but it's also. Yeah, they make of, it all sound. Yeah, all they make it sound yeah. natural and organic. But you read the yeah, ingredients. Like oil. You know, yeah. I look at my coconut oil and I'm sort of and on the back, the ingredients is just. Coconut oil. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I love that. See, I absolutely you know, love that. they're I the do. only ones. So if I look at, if I think, because they're like, oh, I think Boots have a range out called uh, Naked or Natural or something. Okay, yeah. And then it, it gives the impression yes. that it's, you know, pure she butter Anyone or would pure think that, yeah. And then you read the ingredients and there's like, you know, 30% of it is natural. That's and so bad. It's, yeah, it's so misleading. That's pretty much it, really. We've spoken yeah. about everything we can. We've probably missed some things out, but if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. And if there's any questions that I spot come through that you can answer, yeah. I'll let you know. Um, I want to do, I have Instagram, but I don't use Instagram. Yeah. But I want to <laughs> start using Instagram a bit more and I'll on my Instagram talk about hair care and the products that I'm using. And if you have like a certain product, a certain issue with your hair, then obviously what, what naturally you can do to help yeah. that. And natural, because I use natural hair mask as well, which I forget. Okay. So banana and avocado, you can oh, wow. like wash that up and... 
That can be good for your hair too. Eggs apparently. Yeah, it's not vegan. Oh god, yeah. Oh god. So difficult. God. So difficult. Um, so if you're interested then we'll link the Instagram below yes. and if you go in there and it's Book easy, her to the get day. on it. <laughs> Please, because she needs to get on it. Yeah, I've learned some more things today even just chatting about it. Let's see how I got on with my hair journey. Let's see whether I can end up with luscious locks like you. It's never gonna happen. But just so jealous. Your hair does grow faster, I'll put that in as well. Oh, yeah. Your hair does grow if you want your hair to grow fast, um, go with no poo, it will really just help that. Not you don't have anything yeah. clogging up the pores yeah. preventing the hair to grow. If you do that want works. long thick hair, then no poo do is the way forward. No poo do. Who doesn't want long thick hair? Unless you want short hair. There's no problem with that. Are you sure? <laughs> I feel like you're talking about me. No! <laughs> you're like, unless you want, unless no, you want you hair like this girl. She just went long hair, but then there's a lot of very vain, Ollie. Yeah! Know? A lot of people like you've short got hair. You've got perfect hair in the world. A lot of you, people Ollie? like short hair. I sometimes think, you know what, I wish I could just cut it off because... It takes so long it to... It takes yeah. so long. Imagine how quick... Yeah, imagine if you had, like, short hair up to, like, here. And imagine how quickly that would take to wash and dry. Oh my god. And you could just do water only then and just oh, like my god. change to that in like My seconds. life revolves <laughs> around my hair. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, Arlena. You're welcome. And teaching everybody about no poo. There we have it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Drinking your drink to say goodbye. I shall see you in my next video. If you liked this, please subscribe. Tell them to subscribe to my channel, Arlena. Subscribe to Cat's channel, guys. Why? Is it good? It's great. Oh my god, she doesn't even watch. <laughs>